Greetings, you consumptive goo. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham. Welcome to the Cracker Pack here on LRRMTG. Please consider subscribing to our channel today. I'm very excited to be opening this booster pack of Scourge, which we've never opened before on this show. This was given to us by Gnome or Vnome in chat in the mail. And it says here Q4 2020. And I mean, Q4. We're, as far as I'm concerned, we're still in Q4 of 2020. Uh, but I appreciate it. This is from the year of our dog 2003. Good Christ. Well, here we are. Let's get into some Scourge. Very nice. Hmm. You know, we little peek behind the curtain. Little peek behind the Crack Pack curtain. You may have noticed that we record episodes of Crack Pack in in little batches. So you know, I'll record several in a day. I used to change my shirt every single time and realized it probably wasn't worthwhile. Um, but going directly from a more modern pack to this pack, you can really feel the difference in thickness of cardstock. Um. But that's neither here nor there, is it? First up, we have Divergent Growth. Oh, everything's in the retro frame. What a, what a throwback. Single green mana for an instant until end of turn. Lands you control gain tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So you can just sort of make everything a different color for a turn if you want. Is that worth a card? Probably not. Temporal Fissure is how I've seen many people die in episodes of Star Trek, but this one is four and a blue for a sorcery. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Oh boy, it's got Storm. I was like, five mana sorcery is real expensive and slow for this effect. But if you get to do it a lot, I guess that's pretty cool. Okay, I figured out why we want Divergent Growth. Because you just want cheap spells to cast to pump those numbers up, rookie. Get your storm count up there. I will say, I mentioned the thickness of cardstock, but the printing is a little a little washed out. Also, this card is creased. There's just a fold in this card, like, only on one side. Like the machine ran over it. That was weird. Okay. Well... I rescind my previous suggestion that maybe things used to be better. <laughs> I rescind specifically my misguided rage. I wouldn't call what I was just doing rage, but that is the name of our next card. It's misguided rage. Two and a red for a sorcery target player sacrifices a permanent. I didn't know red got this effect. It doesn't now, but I didn't know that red used to get player sacrifice stuff. I'm probably missing some obvious examples, but uh, huh. neat. A permanent, a permanent, interesting. So they could choose to do a land if they want. I mean, I wouldn't, but neat. Dragon scales. Oh no, it's that from that deck. The, 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 where all the counters. No, this is not hardened scales. It's just dragon scales. A, a name I bet they wish they could have used uh, in Dragons of Tarkir, but instead it's here in Scourge and it's a creature aura for one and a white. The enchanted creature gets plus one, plus two, and attacking doesn't cause it to tap. Did they really not have Vigilance yet in 2003? Okay. Plus one, plus two in Vigilance. But there's another paragraph, so hold on. When a creature with converted mana cost six or more comes into play, you may return dragon scales from your graveyard to play enchanting that creature. All right, that's actually pretty cool. If you play a dragon, you get to be like, also, my dragon has scales. And the dragon goes, thank God, because I just was skin before, and that was terrible. Hey, I've seen this card before. It's Death's Head Buzzard. One black black for a 2-1 bird. Surely this has now been errated to be a zombie bird or a skeleton bird. I'm guessing skeleton bird, but on the card it's just bird. It's got flying, as you would hope. And when Death's Head Buzzard is put into a graveyard from play, all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Cool. Hey, Spark Spray. I've seen this. I think I've seen Death's Head Buzzard online, too. I don't recall in what context, but I've seen Spark Spray as well. It's a single red. For an instant, it deals one damage to creature or player, and you can cycle it for a red. It's a cheap spell. What does a thing? Or you can cycle it. Why not? Aven Liberator. 
two white white for a two three bird soldier with flying and morph so you play it down for three and then you can turn it face up for three and a white which is a little easier on your white mana than two white white to just cast it but anyway when it's turned face up target creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn ah yes we had a lot of things that cared about what colors things were color changing stuff okay sure lingering death it just won't go home You've tried putting on the go-away music, but it turns out death loves Mr. Bungle. Uh, one in a black for a creature aura. The controller of enchanted creature sacrifices it at the end of their turn. It's a... It's, it's, it's not even an edict. It's just it's a slow... I guess... This can kill indestructible creatures? So that's neat. What a curious way to do this effect. Huh. All right. Sprouting Vines. Two and a green for an instant. Search your library for a basic land, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library with Storm. That could get you a lot of lands. Also, this art by John Avon is wild. Love Sprouting Vines. Rush of Knowledge. Four and a blue for a sorcery. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among permanents you control. Hmm. Five mana for this. I suspect this is probably, most of the time, bad. What's your break point? Five mana draw four is worthwhile? Yeah, okay, I guess five mana draw four is actually pretty good. Got your even liberator in play? Yeah, right. You know what? I'm coming around on Russian Elf. It's probably okay. Scattershot two and a red for an instant it deals one damage to target creature storm so it's not as good as a grape shot because that can target the face and it's more expensive but it's still it well actually no it can't be that good because i've never seen or heard of it before <laughs> and surely if it were a good storm card i would have seen or heard of it by now but it seems fine i don't know gilded light one in a white for an instant. You can't be the target of spells or abilities this turn. Wait till they stack all the grape shot targeting you and then cast this. Or if you don't need that, you can just cycle it for two. Sure, that's fine. I don't have any long-term plans, but I do have this copy of long-term plans. Two in a blue for an instant. Search your library for a card, shuffle your library, and put that card third from the top. Three mana? That's, this is one of the worst tutors I've ever seen. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm moving on. Croson Warchief. Two and a green for a 2-2 two -two beast. And beast spells cost one mana less to play. And also, one and a green regenerate target beast. Sure, if you're, if you're big on beasts, I guess. I mean, worst case scenario, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3 that can regenerate itself for 2 mana, and that seems fine. Why is it wearing a little necklace? Greg Hildebrandt, you notable artist, why is this beast wearing, like, a mox emerald around its neck? <laughs> what What an interesting choice. All right. And our rare is the only thing left in the, in the pack. There's no basic land, there's no ad card, there's no token. It's just the rare. And it is. Fingers crossed for some value. We didn't... I didn't look this up ahead of time. James might have. It's... Oh. What's up, Welling? Not much. What's Welling with you? No, that doesn't work. Anyway, up Welling is three and a green for an enchantment. Mana pools don't empty at the end of phases or turns. This effect stops mana burn. Is that good? That's, it's symmetrical. I guess if you have more mana and can use it, maybe this is where you want Rush of Knowledge to draw a bunch more cards. That's a tricky one. This pack is worth about five bucks, which is not bad for something from 20 years ago. Interestingly, the upwelling is like a dollar or 10. Long-term plans, $2. Turns out, even a bad tutor is still a tutor. Also, it is very likely that I simply don't know how to use it properly, and there's some specific reason that you want this tutor over different tutors. Sure. 
was this before draft? Could you draft this set? Were you supposed to draft this set? I have no earthly idea. It's a small set, so probably with something. Oh, okay. I don't know what... I guess I'll take this beast. I have no idea what you're supposed to take out of this pack, so... I'll take my $2 long-term plans and then sit on it for another 20 years. That's the, lo the long-term... The, the plans. Um, hey, uh, thank you. By the way, Gnome, for sending us this pack of Scourge. This is super cool. We've never opened a pack of this, so that's nice. And if you want to send us something, you don't have to, but you can. The address is on your screen. Or if you see us at a Magic Con, woo, we'll be there all through 2024. So come and say hello. Until next time, I've been Graham, joined by James on Tech. Matt edits these. Jordan helps out with that. Heather gets them online. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. We'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody.